Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you two different waters I have right here. They're pretty heavy. I'm struggling. But if your brake pad, let's talk about, let me put this down and let's talk about brakes first. And then we'll talk about these waters, these discs I have. So you're driving your car down on a highway. You're going about 50 miles per hour. And you press your brakes and all of a sudden your car goes, zzz, 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 zzz. you let go the brake and it's nice and smooth. You press the brake pedal again, zzz, 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 start feeling a nice shake. Also on your pedal, the brake pedal, you'll probably feel a pulsation. This is like that. It's like it's like pumping you back, okay? So pretty much, let's say you're going on a high speed above 40 and you start to feel that shake. And it only occurs when you press the brake pedal and as soon as you let it go, it goes away. That's the indication there's something wrong with your brakes. So pretty much, it's your brake rotors, discs, they're warped, they are uh, the roundness of it. There's a lot of different ways to check it. You could use a dial indicator, but clearly, from the mechanic experience, they gotta go. Simple as that. They got to go. You don't need to do no like a $200, $300 test. You don't wanna go buy gauges and do a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna show you uh, two orders that I just showed you earlier. One is severely bad. One you can't even barely tell because it's slightly warped and you can't even barely tell that if it was bent or not. Okay, so first one I'm gonna show you is slightly bent, but the car was shaking, that's the reason. That's the reason why I changed this disc right here. So this brake, uh, ignore that noise, they're doing some construction work outside. But anyways, as you can see, you can see a little bit of uh, like a dark spot into it. You always have to check both sides of it if you don't want to look at it. They use a dial indicator. You can measure thickness here, thickness there, thickness all around. But that's too much a hassle. When I get that shake, it's clearly a sign you have a warped water. So this one, you can't even barely tell. But the problem with this is what I'm about to show on the next, next disc, which is severely warped. And you could clearly see signs on that one. So here's the second disc. Can you see the little spots? They're all around. There's one here, one there, one there. They're all over. And you can you can see this pretty good. If I flicker around with my light, you will see the warp into this disc. And you can see it in the back also as not much as you can see it in the front. So when I test drove this car, Oh boy, I was in the ride of my life. I was like on a roller coaster. That's how I was. But anyways, if you have that issue and uh, you feel a shake and a vibration in your steering, as soon as you press the brake pedal, that's clearly indicating something's wrong with the brakes. So take care of your discs. I would recommend you change all four. Or you can start with two front and then two in the back is all up to you. But I never became a successful uh, solution. I never had a successful solution changing just the two, okay? The shake might go down a little bit and then the customer complains. So I just recommend them all for. And another thing I want to mention is should you resurface rotors? I don't think it's worth it. Nobody does it. These discs are like 40 to 50 bucks aftermarket from your local parts department. It's best you buy a new one instead of spending uh, that time getting them resurfaced all right they do get corroded look at the condition of this one right here so it's not even worth it nowadays and it'll cost you more let's say the person who's gonna cut it for you he makes that small little mistake because I went through that I used to have my shop next door to clear uh, to me resurface waters for me the car was shaking and once we got it done, oh man, it was worse because he made a small little mistake. I don't know if he's mad at me, he did it on purpose, but if it's not perfectly even, you'll be wasting your time. But anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share and like if this video helped you. If you need any of the uh, answers to any of your questions, don't hesitate to send me a message down below and give a thumbs up. See you on the next one. Peace out and bye bye.